Good day everyone, and welcome to a brand new game and a brand new series at the Gig Channel. And we're starting off today, we're going to be looking at a new game in uh, pre-release called Good Company. Now, I have played the first two scenarios in the campaign, which are basically the tutorial. Um, so I am moderately in a position to start the game, although I've got to tell you my confidence level is not very high. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to do a free play and we're going to have to discover an awful lot as we go along because as I said I've only played the first two scenarios in the campaign which are the tutorial and that basically gives you the basics but there's a whole lot more to the game than that and you can just tell from the way it's going and, and everything that there is a whole lot more than that. So it's going to be a path of discovery. So without further ado, uh, oh, by the way, I should also point out top right-hand screen, I have set up a user. We are Grumpy at Grumpus Tech Clubs, and that's our emblem on the side there. Um, so that's in case anybody has any bright ideas, because it certainly won't be me. So without further ado, let's jump into free play and see what happens. And whoop, here we are. Oh, 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 oh. Now, I'm going to pause this because I, I just think we ought to. Now, I have literally got no idea. So we're going to have to start looking around and seeing what we can do. And the first thing we probably need to do is make some money. Because even though it's a... Uh, the concept of the game, as I understand it, is you end up being a computer and robot manufacturer. Uh, but you have to get there. And you get there um, the hard way by running a business and making money. So that's what we're going to do. But we're not going to start with... Oh, I've never come across... There was no trash containers in the um, tutorials, so that's interesting can start off with quite a bit of stuff actually but let's start off first with the tinker table because the one thing we do need actually let's put it let's put it there there they're there they're there let's put it there the one thing we do need is money coming in basic assembly no, we're not doing any... Okay, we've got no design, no assembly, and we're not doing any research, and we don't have any decorations. Okay, so if we look at this, what can we make? We can make single-cell batteries. We could make single-cell batteries and sell them. So we need chemicals. Right, so what we need to do is, first of all, get the game going. And we need to move our good selves, oh, our good selves down here. Because on in the incoming zone, we need to order stuff. Chemicals, electronic parts, and probably, let's get some plastic as well. Okay. And let's move, let's move the chemicals into my inventory and then wander me over to there. Okay, so, and now we've got crafting. So we can make 10, start crafting. And we're gonna make 10 batteries. Uh, we started off with a hundred thousand dollars. We're now down to ninety-eight thousand dollars. So we crafted nine out of our ten batteries, and we have nine left to go. So that's pretty much how you start the game. You you set up a tinker table, and you build some products. 
to build the products, you go and you order the raw materials and they make the products. Now, once we've done these 10 batteries, what we're going to do is we're going to then make some other components and sell them as well. But when we do that, we'll be hiring staff to do that. Now, it starts off very simple, as you can see. It's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, but it does get complicated pretty quickly. And, of course, that's where the fun starts. It's in the complication. Okay, we just speed this up, I think, for a minute, because basically that's what we're doing. Oh, look at me go! I think we're almost done. Okay, we're done, and we went back to normal speed. Now, what we need to do is take our 10 batteries over to here and put them there. And then those 10 batteries, when the trucks come, they'll pick them up. But the truck hasn't come yet, so let's go make some more. Oh, got to go over there first. Okay, so pick up some batteries. Ah, uh, no, some chemicals, sorry. Batteries. Silly Billy. Walk over here. Click on the table. Manual crafting. Ten of those. Thank you. So we're crafting. Now we're doing all the work at the moment, which is not unusual because we are, for one of... Oh, there you go. Made $700. We are, for want of a better description, a startup company. So while we're doing the crafting, right, let's just go and set up another crafting table over here. Yep, over here. And this time, now what did we get before? We got, now, do we know how much these sell for? Market price is 70. Oh, market price is 70. Oh, everything's the same price. Ah, look at this. Required materials, 20 electronic parts. Okay, well, let's make some of those. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here now, notice there we were in construction mode. There's another mode called logistics. We'll get to that eventually. And now the employee mode. But we would like to hire an employee and assign that employee to Tinker Table 2. And everyone costs the same to hire and the same price per day. Um, but the question is now, who do we like? Do we have preferences? I'm a big fan of... Well, Riley looks pretty good to me. So let's get a Riley. There's Riley. And we're going to assign Riley to here. Tinker table number two. So Riley will come over. And of course, nothing will happen because we haven't set anything up. So now what we do is we go into logistics mode. So we come over here and we click on that. We take electronic parts from there. Oops, sorry. We take electronic parts from there to there. And then we take these guys, the LED array, from there to the cell pile over there. And we click Go. So Riley comes over, picks up the parts she needs. Goes to the, oh, we're done. Okay. So we'll go over here and, and put our stuff there. And then when Riley's done her stuff, she brings it over and puts it there as well. So we could actually set up another employee there, but at the moment, I think I would like to make some actual money. So uh, I'm going to just hold off doing that for now because uh, I want to get on with what we're doing here. So we're going to craft another 10. So Riley's pumping them out. What have we got in here now? 
we've got oh we've only got three she's taking them over one at a time okay well anyway uh, she oh did we stop why did we stop start crafting Uh, manual crafting. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do all nine, shall we? That's better. Though we may not be able to do nine because we, we may not have enough chemicals. Ah, they picked up our goods. Okay, 98,000. Very good. I don't know that we're making a profit, though. Okay, so, so far so good. Everyone gets the idea of how this works. It's fairly straightforward. So as soon as we finish making our 10 batteries, we're going to go and set up another table. And we're going to hire more people to do this stuff. Um, like to be, like to, oh, 97, weekly profit. Uh, okay, so last week's operational profit includes running costs like wages, materials purchased, does not include investments. So that's that's pretty straightforward. So we are making a profit every week, which is good. So we just make a bit more. We've got two more manual craftings to go, and then we're set. So we're a battery and LED display manufacturer so far, which is which is good for us. Okay, so now you bring that stuff down here, pop it over there, put you in there like that. Good. Okay, now we're going to hire a new person and get our new person working over here straight away. So employees one. Oh, we're not going to fire Riley. No, we like Riley. Riley's doing a bang up job. Camilla. I know a Camilla, but I think the one I know is spelt with a C. Gwyneth Davies from Ronda Valley. See, that's Gwyneth. Let's hire Gwyneth. Okay, Gwyneth, you go and work right there. Cool. Uh, but we haven't set up the logistics, so we're going to do that straight away. Young Gwyneth. Okay, here we go. So we click, we click on you, and we pick up the chemicals, and we take the chemicals. I keep forgetting to drag and drop to there, and then we take the batteries and we sell them over there. Now, why is that complaining to me? Oh yeah, because you're not going anywhere. That's fine. Okay, so Gwyneth is busy making batteries. Riley is busy making LEDs. And now we're going to add cases to our... Oh, sorry, build. Construction even, not build even. Construction. Okay, so this one we're going to do the simple case. Which you know, for want of a better description, is a case. Uh, data yield for by basic research data, 70. Right. So each one of these units will make us 70 gold or 70 somethings on the market when we eventually get to the market. But of course, we need a person to work this. So we're going to hire another employee. Someone who can get on with Gwyneth. Astrid, maybe. Ingeborg. I like Ingeborg. She could do it. Okay, we've got Ingeborg. Now, Ingeborg, you want to come over here. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, we need to move plastic. Uh, okay, that's the wrong thing to do for a start. 
we need to m okay stop it stop it hold on that's better right we need to go plastics from there to there and then simple case from there to there and we have the three items that are available to us are now on sale and we have three productive employees and we didn't make a profit last week that's okay we're still at 97,000 we just need to chill on this for a minute we'll go up in speed I'd like to get a week under our belt get some profit going Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Made some profit. Well done, us. So, now the next thing we need to look at is doing some research. Uh, actually, we should probably come out. Whoa! Oh, of course I'm on high speed, aren't I? Thank you. Very jerky. All right. So, we probably need to look at setting up some R&D because we're not going to get very far if we don't research things now in order to do research as you can see from this to have a research desk we need uh, research points how do you get research points I hear you ask well you get an analysis desk and it converts modules into research points. Now, that means that in order for us to produce the research points, we actually have to consume modules. So there is a cost involved in the research. So, um, but, you know, well, that's, that's exactly what you've got to do. So we need a research desk. And we're going to do that because we need to be... Um, up there making this stuff for us and I think that's a good place for a research desk probably now in order to make research desks we need to consume do these things have a basic cost plastic is the cheapest Stock price is two forty. Stock price is four hundred. I think I think we'd be better off using plastic. So we could set this up, but of course then we know that it has to uh, it has to consume something we've made. So we're going to consume a simple case. And I think what we'll do initially is that we will go and um, we will go and just nick some simple cases and work with those. So we'll take seven of those. And we'll use those to do our research. And we will do the research ourselves because that's what we that's who we are. We are the research people. No module selected. Nope, doesn't like that. Okay, manual analysis. Analysis not possible. No module selected. Uh, okay. Analysis desk. Oh, there you go. I have to click on it. Okay. Start analysis. Sure.
Interesting. Okay, so you get the idea. That's what we have to do to get some research points. Now, how many research points do we have? That's a good question. And can we research? Well, we don't know. So now we need to set up the research desk. And uh, I think we'll probably keep it close to the analysis desk. So let's go over here. Open tech tree. Aha! We could, so let's see, that needs 40 basic research data. This needs 60, and it unlocks the battery stack. And the market discovery of the battery stack, is, oh, look at that. 60 basic research data, plastic case, market discovery plus two. Ooh, all right. I reckon we should go for the battery stack. Unlocks the battery stack. Needs chemicals, plastic and metal. Oh, okay, tinker table, chemistry table. Battery life, weight, heat loss, yield, market price 110. So in terms of cost to benefit, this looks like the way to go. So let's see if we can start the research. And nothing is happening. Okay, let's close that. Now, let's move, let's move, no, let's keep working here. So we've got, ah, basic research data, there it is, zero out of 60, okay. So we have no so let's go to the simple case and start the analysis again. And in actual fact, let's... Oh, no, we can't move that during this period. So we need 60. Where do you go to check to see how many research points you've got? Good question. Where, where do you find out how many research points you have? Goods sold on the market. Modules 19 for 1,330. Okay. That's cool. Don't see research points anywhere. Anyone see research points? Ah, amount of research done, zero. What's that? Is that research point? Ah, oh, research data, 12. Let's see what happens when we get another one. 16. And oh, we're going to have to go away with this one. Man, this guy's still going. He's on the last one, though. We got 24 points. I wonder if the research... Can we start the research? No? What does that do? Oh, okay. Let's, okay, let's go get some more. Not that easy to guide this guy. Uh, there's only two there. Three. Not a whole lot, you'd have to say, wouldn't you? Okay, I'll tell you what we might do. Let's, yeah, I know what. Let's, um, no, let's not. 
I was I was just thinking what we could do is set up a new table just to to cannibalise parts for R and D, but I'm not sure I want to do that at the minute. So we do you, we can do four of you, so let's do that and get all that going on. We get from 28 to to something. Well, we better get the 28 and something quickly. 32, 28, 32. So four, okay. Not far to go. I'm going to get some more. Um, okay, take all four of you. Head back over here. Oh, okay. Select you. Um, we'll go all four go and uh, we'll go back up to top speed again Okay, this will give us the 60. Actually, very neatly, it'll give us the 60. And we won't be over and we won't be under. So let's move you up to here. And do I have to move you up to there? Up, 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 up. Yep, okay. Basic research data. Go all the way and click. Then we're going to end up with... A battery stack. And then we will have successfully researched our first product. Still in tier one, but a good start to our business. And then that's where the complexity come in. Thin, because it won't just be a simple case of buying raw goods, taking it to a table, Sorry, I should rephrase that. Taking it to a tinker table. You actually have to have more than just one raw good. So now we're starting to develop our manufacturing potential as well. So once we have developed the battery stack... do 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 Ta da Research complete. Battery sack. Okay, down to one. Stop that. Okay, now, just to come over here and have a look, let's see what happens if we look at doing the battery stack at a table. We need four chemicals, two plastic, and two metal. Okay, at the one... Ooh. Oh, Mark, what? What? The market went up to the calculator... Okay, market progressed, attention. Wow, the calculator market's at phase two and we haven't even made a calculator yet. Okay, uh, okay, so the battery stack, right, needs four chemicals, two plastic and two metal. Okay, so we don't have these things. So when we set this table up, okay, we're going to Build a tinker table, which is there. Put you tinker table over here. Uh, over here like so. Yep, like so. And then we're going to just come over here for a minute. Oh no, we can't come over there for a minute. But we're going to make the battery stack. Chemicals, plastic and metal. Okay, so first of all we come to here. Uh, we come to here. No, we don't go anywhere. Uh, 
I've got myself stuck, haven't I? Yep, I have. Okay. Let's go hire the next person because we need another employee. Elva. Sean. Darag, Michael, Cyrus, Harrison. Cyrus looks like a pretty good sort of dude. I reckon we go for Cyrus today. And we're going to put Cyrus over here on the battery stack. Start the game again. Then move me down to here. And we're going to order some metal. Cool. Now... What we're going to do here is go into logistics mode and do this. Chemicals to there. Plastics to there. Metal to there. And battery stack to there. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our first, let's call it, compounded production. Now, I've got staff. Cyrus is hammering away over there making the battery stack. So this is looking pretty promising, actually. Uh, calculators are already miles ahead of us, though, but never mind. We'll get there. That's the battery stack. It's worth 110. So let's run this to Friday and see how much money we make. So, so far, the last week, we were $140. But we have spent money this week. Um, you know, we hired staff, we have a new tinker table, so we'll just have to see how that goes. Yeah, we lost $160 last week. It is last week, isn't it? Weekly profit. Yeah, last week. So we need to go for one more week to see if we're making money. But we're still around the 95000 mark, so we haven't lost a lot. It would be good to be able to get the profits up again. Maybe even get back some of the money. Oh, look at that. $340. That's nice. That is nice. Okay. The calculator market went up. Now, let's have a look at um, products again. No active tech trees, right. I think we probably need to start pumping out some more tech. Open tech tree. See, the, what, we're, what we're aiming for is the calculator, which is... Somewhere. Um, calculator. Where's the calculator? These are the components for the calculator. Ah, C, C, C. Okay, the other thing we need. Oh, that's what I haven't built either. Yeah. Is the design. There's a design table. Design desk. Yeah, see? Ha <laughs> ha. A trap, I tell you, for what might be described as young ones. Okay, now, having having created the design desk, whoops, come back. All will be forgiven. We could research a blueprint, create new. And we have calculators. Now we can create a simple case. A calculator. No modules. So we have a simple case. But I don't think that's what we need, frankly. I think we need a simple case, a battery pack, and an LED display. 
So what have we researched? The battery pack, the plastic case, yeah, okay, and the simple circuit. Okay, so we need to be producing. So what I'm going to do is set up another table just to make simple cases for R&D to use. Uh, actually, you know what I don't need right now? I don't need... I don't need these small batteries. So what I might do, actually I might, let's change this. Let's change this. Let's go to, now I don't know whether this is going to work or not, but we're going to turn you to over there. Hover over an interstellar. Oh, okay, may oh, okay, okay. I know, I know. Got it. It's not that. It's the simple battery, and we turn that one off. Right. Let's try now. Oh no! Doesn't like it. Okay, let's try this, shall we? Um, okay, I think we're going to have a problem here. And our problem is going to be... All right. We need to just sort this out. Let's put a medium shelf, a small shelving stack. Let's see if we can use one of these right here. Just turn this around a bit. Okay, so we're going to change this a bit. We're going to move, okay, this by the way is the, the shelving, so we move from there and we put it on the shelving. We move this from there to, actually you know what, no, to there. So then, okay. So hold, hold on, hold on. Let's hire another person. Now, who looks like an R&D dude? Let's go down, see if we can find an R&D dude down here. Alberto Erler, he looks good. Alberto, you are now a research dude on the analysis desk. So what we want you to do is pick up okay pick up from there to there cool all right that looks like it's going to work let's start the this and see what happens he goes over there he picks up a battery he goes back to the desk and he makes something. He makes four. Well done. Everything is going according to plan. Now, our new project, I think, We've got the battery pack. Now we need the plastic case. And inside a plastic case,
manual research. Move to. All right, let's move. Uh, you know what? We might as well make, wait till we get all the research in there. It's not going to not going to go any quicker just by doing that. But we are making a profit, which is good. All right. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're 40 minutes in, and this is good company. Now, I hope you're having fun watching this. It gets a lot trickier later on as we start going through things, but this is a good start for us. So, our initial goal, uh, if I can come just over here for a second to the design, no, not the design desk, to the research desk, uh, and look at the research tree. No, it doesn't like us anymore. Okay, but the basic concept, first of all, is we have to make the calculator, and that sets us up as, as an electronics company. So in the next episode, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be continuing our R&D, and when we have finished our R&D, in fact, what I might do is I'll run the game until we've got all the components ready to go to build our calculator, and then I'll come back and we'll go through the process of building our calculator uh, from R&D to inception. So thank you very much for joining me today for Good Company. I do hope you will enjoy the series, uh, and I look forward to seeing you once again at the Gig Channel. So until then, stay well, everyone. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.